Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video. It's your boy, Chow Codes. I have some really good news. Recently, I was hit up by someone who is also another big YouTuber, but also does courses online. And you guys may have heard of him. His name is Coding Phase. He also goes by Joe. If you guys haven't checked him out, you guys should definitely check him out. I'll have a link to his channel down in the description box. But he recently hit me up and he has started an agency called 87 Lux. And what they're going to be doing is making websites and themes for platforms like Shopify, WooCommerce and things like that. So he recently hit me up and he was just like, yo, do you want to join on with me and help me out in making some of these themes. And I was like, absolutely. That's pretty much going to be, you know, my first official coding gig. I get to actually work on some legitimate projects that are going to be out in the wild for people to purchase and actually use for their personal sites or e-commerce sites on platforms, like I said, at Shopify and WooCommerce. I've really been looking for an opportunity like this to come my way for a really long time. I've been itching for it. I've been pushing for it. And for something like this to happen, especially after after, you know, the previous videos where I failed the interviews and I was kind of down on myself. And thank you guys, all of you for showing the support uh, that genuinely helped and meant a lot to me in the fact that the, you know, the whole community was behind me for the most part, standing up and saying, you know, that it's all right, keep your head up, it's okay, the, things like this happen. And aside from my close circle that I talked to, having you guys there to talk to me with something like that definitely helped. And then this coming my way was kind of like a weird timing situation, but also something that I was just so pumped about now for sure that I get to actually make some projects that I want to be making. So as of right now, I've actually already started with him. I've already started a project and bootstrapped it up. I'm currently working on some of the aspects of it. I have also been live streaming it on Twitch. So if you guys have not checked out the stream links in the description to my stream, I will be live streaming that project as I work on it throughout the weeks. He's allowing me to stream it, which is awesome. You know, him being a content creator himself, he understands the game. He understands how it is sometimes. I am actually able to live stream the creation of this project. And so you get to see from creation till finished product, hopefully from me. And you get to see the just the documentation process. I am I've been enjoying it so far. And I've been really, really loving showing you guys the process and getting some help as well, because there are some aspects to the project where I get stuck. And there's just people in the chat that help out a ton. So it's always been fun to just be live and chatting with you guys and also building the project with you guys as well. The theme that we're working on right now is a furniture shop theme that I Again, like I said, will be redistributed out to Shopify and WooCommerce and plen plenty of other third party platforms that people can use for their e-commerce needs. And right now, as of this moment, we are building out the static files. And then once the static files are done, those will then be templated over to their respective platforms. So, you know, for Shopify, for example, we'll take that static, those static files as a, as a general template for reference and then shift them over into the liquid templating platform so that, you know, you can start to implement them for Shopify themes and so on and so forth for the other plenty of platforms that we're going to be getting these out to. The stack that's getting used right now and probably will be being used for other projects to come is going to be Next.js and then regular old SCSS or SAS CSS. I have not worked much in Next.js. So right now I have been learning my way through it all just by learning it and doing it and reading the documentation. Obviously, I know React and I've used Gatsby before as a platform and a library. Next.js is just something that has been super, super cool to see the server side rendering uh, side of things and also just kind of learning the little nuances that come with it. And so far, I've really been liking Next.js. SCSS, I am somewhat familiar with, as most of you guys know that have watched me before. My CSS is very, very bad and very, very iffy, and I hate doing it, but it's something that I have to do. It's something I have to learn. So making these projects has definitely been a learning process for me and just a great opportunity to practice some of the skills that I've been lacking in and also just improve on the ones that I know are my huge weaknesses. All in all, this is just a super great learning experience. Like I just said, I have the opportunity opportunity to actually build something that is going to be used. I have the opportunity to show you guys and be in the limelight of practicing some of the weaknesses that I have, which is CSS and really, really just honing in on those skills so that once I actually do get a legitimate dev job and branch out into the scene, I'm more than capable and prepared for a situation like that, where I'm not no longer scared or worried about using CSS or making a website from scratch. I can actually make an environment, bootstrap it up and get going on it without any issues 
issues. So this is definitely a great starting point for me and such a great start to the year, honestly, about, you know, really, really using what I've learned in the past year and now making a legitimate project with it, which I haven't been able to do up until this point because everything prior to this has been side projects that I've been making and there were no designs for me to go off of. There was no, you know, other developers on the team. There was no one looking over me. It was just kind of like, okay, I have an idea. Let me just go make this. Now there's a legitimate team to go off of. Joe coding phase is quote unquote the boss, right? He needs to overlook these kinds of things. He needs to kind of make sure the workflow is all succinct and everyone's on the same page. And there's designs that I need to go off of. That is all something that I've never had before. And this is all something that I need to learn and kind of get into the environment of being a self-taught dev. You're by yourself a lot. So being a part of a team, different dynamic comes with it. And so far it's been a lot of fun to kind of be in that environment and work with all that being said, you know, while I'm working with coding phase and doing this stuff for 87 Lux, I am still job hunting. I will not stop doing that. I am going to keep job hunting. And while I'm doing that, also honing in my skills skills, sharpening them and making sure that I'm prepared for interviews and taking on projects within other jobs while working with coding phase. So it's pretty much a win-win situation here. I get to work for him. He gets, you know, his website's done. And then at the same time, I'm sharpening my skills and I'm getting more prepared as a developer in a legitimate coding environment with a team with meetings and all that stuff. You know what I mean? So both hand in hand, it's a win-win and I, we're both benefiting out of the situation. And it's just something that I've, I can't, I still can't believe has come my way. It, it's awesome that I am able to do this now and actually work on something that I genuinely, genuinely want to be doing maybe for the rest of my life, but we'll see what, what happens as of right now. This is definitely something that I wanted to be in just so I can actually learn and become a little bit more competitive in terms of the experience that I have and what's on my resume. I'm determined like crazy to make this work and really, really work hard at this so that I can stop being overlooked by people. As a self-taught person, you are overlooked in the fact that you don't have any experience, right? Most of the time being a self-taught dev, you haven't had any job experience working as a, as a developer. You haven't had any real tangible products or projects that you've worked on aside from your side projects. You know what I mean? Like the side projects are great. They can be really, really good, but is it for, is it something that, you know, someone else is going to be using in the public? Is it something that someone has paid for? You know what I mean? Like that's great, but sometimes hiring managers or recruiters or whomever are looking for people who can work well in a team, work well in, you know, get workflows and things like that. And working by yourself doesn't necessarily show that. So something like this, where I now get to be a part of a team and I am now looking at PRs where I can't screw up anything and I can't commit anything until everything kind of works out and everything matches the way we need it to. Well, then now I'm actually getting the experience in a team environment. I'm getting the experience working in a repo and not having to just push everything that I, every change that I make by myself, I legitimately have to follow certain parameters in order to make this thing work. So now now with that, that's awesome. And I now get to say, Hey, look, I've worked in the team. I've, I have some experience working for a company. This is legitimate. And now I don't have that overlooked factor. Potentially. I now am able to be seen as a legitimate dev and get pushed a little bit farther into their interview process. Should I actually get them it in the future when I'm applying? So this is what's going to be occupying me for however long it is until I get an actual dev job. Like I said, it's just been an awesome opportunity and an awesome process so far. I've already been getting started. I will also be balancing out making videos for you guys streaming it, which is great. Like I said, cause I can actually stream these things while I'm working. So that's taken care of and the podcast and plenty and the plenty of other projects that I have going on in my life. So it's going to be a change, but it's going to be a good change. And I'm happy that I'm able to do this now beforehand. You know, I was kind of free flowing, doing the projects when I could making the videos when I can. And now I actually have to stay on an actual schedule to make sure that everything kind of stays in place and that I am not overworking myself, but also not spreading myself too thin. You know what I mean? Um, with actual work now, I need to have work-life balance even more so, especially the fact that I'm balancing Instagram videos and everything else. It's it's a great, it's another great learning experience for me in the fact that I'm actually managing more projects and more of a workload. We're going to see how it goes. Uh, so far, I've really been enjoying it. It's been a lot of fun. But all that being said, that's going to do it for today. I am very, very happy to be announcing that to you guys. And I can't wait to bring more good news, hopefully in the future. 2021 has already been off to a great start and I cannot wait to keep this moving. The momentum rolling a lot, a lot, a lot. And I can't wait to share it with you guys. It's been such a great journey, but this is just the beginning of it. I do not plan on ending this anytime soon. I just want to be showing the process for you guys, showing that as long as you're putting in the work and you're doing it smart, and you're doing it right and you're not giving up, things can come and pan out your way. You know, I never really expected any of this to come my way. Uh, you know, coding phase didn't need to
to do this. He didn't need to reach out to me. And the fact that he wanted to reach out to me is, is amazing. And I'm very, very grateful for that. So these opportunities, like I said, in the failed interview video come few and far between. So when they do come and they click, make it work. We got to make it work. Always, always make it work. No matter what situation you're in or how, how much of a disadvantage you think you're at, you always have to put in the work and make it work. That being said, that's going to do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the news. If you guys have any questions or comments, hit me down in the comment section. I will try to get to you guys. And uh, other than that, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.